back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing uh, what my kids eat in a day. I've got Olivia, who is three years old, so a toddler. And we've got James, who is one year old, um, so like an infant. Both get much and such the same throughout the day. Um, apart from Olivia, who maybe gets like a slight bit more, obviously, because she's older. And James is still technically a baby, so it doesn't need a huge amount. Um, First thing in the morning, James will get his milk. Um, he gets about five ounces of cow's milk in a bottle. I did try changing him to soupy cups, but he just, he would drink some of it, but he would like take ages and time is not something we have in the morning. So I went back to bottles and we'll, we'll try it again in a couple of months and see what like. I think Olivia was about 14 months. So not too fussed about that. Um, so after about a couple of hours, <laughs> After about a couple of hours, um, usually I get my workout done first, hence the state of me. You'll never, very, very rarely find me dressed at this time in the morning when they're having their breakfast, so excuse the appearance. But yeah, so about a couple of hours later, we have breakfast, um, or the kids have breakfast. Um, usually it's Weetabix mashed up with milk and banana. James gets half a Weetabix and Olivia gets a full one and he gets about a quarter of a banana and Olivia gets about three quarters. It's usually a small banana, it's not a big one. Um, sometimes they will have um, porridge, we do porridge um, with bananas or we sometimes do a fruit salad and then maybe toast or something. As a treat, they might get like protein pancakes and fruit and yogurt or just normal pancakes. Um, kind of depends. But yeah, that is that is pretty much breakfast. The next thing I will give them is after breakfast, we do a pancake. I get a little like scotch pancake, you know, they're just the little ones. Olivia gets a full one just with butter and James will get a half one with butter, so he that just seems to be something we do. I don't know how I started it or why, but it just started and it's kind of continued on, so they're happy with that. That kind of keeps them going through most of the morning. Um, they'll get a slight snack and then obviously into dinner, but they're, they're, at, they're not like eating through all, like all day or all morning, so that's kind of tends to keep them going. So I'll show you what they get throughout the day. James will get some water in a sippy cup and Olivia gets some milk, just uh, green cow's milk in a cup in the morning. She she likes that. Not a lot of it, half a cup. And um, she'll get some water as well if she wants it. But they're very, very good with water. So they get water throughout the day. They don't take any juice or anything. Sometimes as a treat, Olivia might get delight diluting juice. Ne I never give them like fruit shoots or anything. The most, the only thing I would really give the Olivia is Capri Sun, um, which I don't really mind too much, but, but that is like a treat or maybe like in the summertime Mom, if it's hot. Um, but I never give them fruit shoots. I hate that stuff. I just don't like it at all. Don't like giving it to them. So um, yeah, that's it. So I will come back later and tell you what they're having for their snack. So as I say, they'll have their pancake and then they'll get their snack about 9, 10 o'clock, something like that, depending. It's about 10 o'clock here, so the kids are just having their snack. We've got some banana bread that I made up a couple of days ago. Um, just a Mary Berry one, nothing special, standard banana loaf. And Olivia's I got the same. One. Yeah, yours I isn't cut up because you don't like yours cut up. Yeah. Um, and they've just got some water. Thank Olivia you. might have a snack. Like James is about to go down for a nap, so Olivia might have a snack in like an hour, and then she'll have her. We'll have our lunch at twelve. So almost lunchtime here. I go to work at twelve, so I've prepped the kids' lunches. So I'm just going to show you what they had. I'll just quickly. Olivia had one of these little bars. I've just started to give her one of these. They're only ninety calories. I know there's probably sugar in them, but it's a fine sort of light snack, just sort of easy. Um, for her and she's had a couple of biscuits, she was hungry. Um, so she had a couple of plain, plain biscuits. Um, but she's, they'll, they'll get to you about 12, I would say. Um, we're kind of 12 and five for tea and um, for dinner and supper. So I'll just show you what they've got. The kids generally supper time, um, generally tea dinner time is snack plates because they're just so easy. The kids eat them. I think James, 
getting a little bit fed up with him, but he d he works away with it. It's fine because he can just pot about on his own. I can eat mine or whatever. So, but we'll try and do some more soups over the winter months. So the kids have gotten cheese sandwiches. Olivia's just got hers cut up, and James is just cut up in little bits. He probably could manage normally, but he quite often tends to stuff a whole sandwich in his mouth, so it's easier just to cut them up. And then they've got lots and lots of fruit. I'm giving Olivia some apples and watermelon, which James has got a little bit, but he's not a huge fan of it, so if he doesn't eat it, that's fine. Got some grapes and blueberries, um, and James has got raspberries, because Olivia doesn't like raspberries. <laughs> Try to remember who likes what and who likes what. Who likes what and who like doesn't like what and they'll get some crisps and um, so a half these bag between the two of them James probably about a quarter and Olivia will get about three quarters but there's not much in there anyway it's just quavers essentially and they'll get some water with that and then after that they will get some yogurt probably um just plain natural Greek yogurt that's all they really get Sometimes we give them the Greek sort of strawberry yogurt. Well, Olivia gets that, but I try and keep that for tea time, but we'll see what like. Um, and then they might get like a little biscuit after that. And that should really do them until maybe half two, three o'clock. And then um, they'll get another snack then. So I'm gonna try and get Craig to film what they have. If not, I might have to just pick up at five o'clock when I'm finished work um, and we'll have tea. I will let you know, so just leave. Hey, I'm just back from work. I just thought I'd briefly give you, um, so the kids had some like bourbon biscuits, um, you know, like the couple of biscuits this afternoon and I think Craig gave them a little treat and had a milky bar. Craig sorted the tea, so I'm just, you had milky bars. <laughs> so we're just starting the tea. We're having um, chicken korma. It's just a sauce from, uh, I think it's Lidl's. Yes, Lidl's and we will have some micro pilo rice with it and the, everyone will have that all the kids they'll eat that no problem we've got some veg in it and things like that so it's quite a good a good meal for us it's a standard meal for us kind of do things quite a lot chickeny so gonna go and get this and then uh, the kids will get their some more yogurt probably and um, for their pudding and and then we will probably get like a, again get like a biscuit or something after that so that's good so we had a little bit of a drama with tea tonight because that korma was not a mild korma in fact it wasn't a korma at all because korma is mild and I, we've had kormas where the kids have eaten it no problem but it was like it was super spicy like i like spicy food but that was mega spicy even for me like my mouth was on fire and i did add some greek i thought oh it was maybe a bit nippy so i thought oh, i'll add a bit, little bit of greek yogurt um just to try and like calm it down a bit but oh it was awful and he ate it to be fair to him he ate it um but he is a good eater um but olivia was she was like no no it's too spicy so um she didn't eat hers and I ended up, I offered her a sandwich and she just wanted like bread with some like cheese on the side. So I was like, that's fine, it was like a deconstructed sandwich. So that's what she had for her tea and she had some um, Greek yogurt after. Uh, she had a little biscuit, a little rich tea after. Um, but that was it. And James ate his up and then he had some yogurt and he had a biscuit as well. So not, not too bad but yeah it's a bit of a drama but normally like for tea and things we have like chicken or pasta um quite a, sometimes give them like fish fingers and sometimes i'll buy like the meals not i won't buy all of them i'll only buy like specific ones that i feel that are the best um that are better than some of the others um we recently had the morrison's ones which were quite good um, like just just for handiness for like days where I haven't really made anything I do sometimes like mince I think tomorrow I'm gonna do lasagna so yeah lots lots of things um, Olivia used to be a really really good eater but now she's quite fussy and the health visitor told me that they do go back if they are good eaters and then they change they'll go back but I'm still waiting for Olivia to go back so hopefully um, he would Oh me, lights changed. He would eat anything. He is so good. Apart from 
watermelon. He doesn't really like watermelon or there was something else. I can't remember. But yeah, in general, he is a very, very good eater. Yeah. But he is just having his last milk of the day. He just has two bottles a day, one in the morning and one at bedtime. So he has six ounces, six, six ounces of cow's milk again. He drinks most of it and then he goes down. So yeah, he's just having that now. Olivia doesn't get any drinks like after tea time um, unless she's really, really like thirsty. I'll maybe give her a little suppy, but obviously don't really want her like um, wet in the bed. So we just really try and limit drinks after tea time. And that's uh, the kids what they eat in a day. It's quite basic, it's not a huge amount. I really do try and limit their snacks throughout the day. I try and give them like fruit and I'm trying to get better at finding healthier things. Um, but I do, they do eat a lot of fruit at like dinner time and like they'll have like a banana with their breakfast. So they do eat a lot of fruit. So I guess in some ways I do try and limit that as well because they could get like sore tummies eating so much fruit. Um, so I do try and limit that, but they are very good um, with like healthy stuff and they're not too bad and he quite often has like raisins for snacks or just like pancakes or bread, toast. So I'm going to finish this video now. I hope you've liked a little insight into what the kids eat in a day. It is very, very standard food. There's nothing fancy. Um, we're I was quite brought up on simple food so I kind of quite like it like that um, but yeah hope you've liked this vlog give it a thumbs up if you did and if you are new please hit the subscribe button and we'll catch you next time thanks see you later bye